Hey everybody, I'm Dario, I'm the Director of Research at the Wikimedia Foundation, and I want to give you like a, uh, an overview of something we're doing that I think not many of you may be familiar with, um, with the unambitious goal of building a Wikipedia scale, CC0 licensed, collaborative created uh, open source knowledge graph to support open science and a bunch of other fun things. Uh, so first, first off, how many of you have heard of Wikidata? Good. Okay, awesome. I'm going to give like a short intro to what Wikidata is trying to do and what it's about. Um, I'm sure you've all seen info boxes on Wikipedia. Uh, they're great. They include a ton of machine readable structure information about anything you can name, but they're really, really hard to query and to uh, export and translate to other languages. Um, this is the info box for uh, Marie Curie. Um, and in the English version of the, um, of the, of the um, Wikipedia article. And you'll see an example here of all the tuples that have been associated with this info box, uh, the provenance for the statements, et cetera, et cetera. And we have one of these info boxes for all of the nearly 300 languages that we have in Wikipedia. It's a freaking nightmare to maintain and to curate, as you can imagine. So Wikidata really was born with the idea of centralizing <clears throat> pardon me, the uh, maintenance and collaborative creation of these tuples about pretty much any entity you can name, not limited to uh, authors or human beings, but pretty much anything you can find on Wikipedia article and beyond. Uh, this is an entry uh, in Wikidata about Marie Curie, and it looks roughly like a Wikipedia article, but you see that all the content is structured. So it's really like a gigantic um, uh, tuple store that allows you to collaboratively edit um, properties for this entity. Um, in a nutshell, Wikidata is to data what Wikipedia is to text. Um, all the data is CC0. Anyone, anybody, any machine can contribute to it. Uh, it covers pretty much, or it aspires to cover all domains of knowledge. Uh, it's fully version controlled and collaborative. Um, it has a tight integration with the semantic web via RDF DOMs and open APIs. It has a, a high performance, uh, hopefully high performance query engine <laughs> in Sparkle. Um, it is stable in the sense that it's not tied to any short term funding cycle, it's there for the long term. Uh, it's being actively developed by the Wikimedia uh, Deutschland chapter, and it has a very active community. So uh, currently the fastest growing um, And just to, to give a sense of like a, of a, of a Wikidata item, I guess full support for multilingual labels. So this is the entry again for Marie Curie. You can see that we have labels and aliases and descriptions across a variety of languages. Uh, all of these contributed by, uh, by community members. Um, the atom of, uh, of Wikidata is a statement, uh, which represents typically a tuple, and it can represent uh, um, provenance through a variety of properties, uh, including conflicting provenance statements. Uh, we have a massive coverage of identifiers. And in fact, to me, this is the most exciting thing of, uh, of Wikidata, is that it acts as a, the uh, universal glue for knowledge bases by providing uh, a growing body of identifier mappings um, across catalogs in knowledge base. So if you do have a, a catalog or an open data resource you want to plug into Wikidata, please come and talk to me. Um, we have many data sets that are complete and very well curated. This is just an example where you can find in Wikidata in the area of biomedical content. All of these have been created by um, communities of uh, biomedical experts and biocurators. And the second part of, uh, of this lightning talk is about uh, um, a subset of items you can find today in Wikidata, which are about uh, creative works. So you can find a ton of stuff on Wikidata about people, buildings, artworks, events, uh, molecules, and whatnot. But it's also a sizable part of Wikidata which is about creative works. And I want to talk about that in the context of the Wikisite initiative. Uh, Wikisite is an initiative built on top of Wikidata to create a, a structured bibliographic repository of uh, citable sources as structured data. Um, and the immediate goal is to create this as a, as a way of supporting the, the work our volunteer communities are doing in Wikimedia projects. But we think there's some broader applications that I wanna, I wanna talk to you about. Here's an example of how we can represent uh, in Wikidata um, the fact that uh, Zika virus, identified by that Q number up there, has as its natural reservoir uh, a specific species of uh, uh, mosquito. So this information is stated in this paper, and uh, you'll see there's additional metadata for this paper that states uh, uh, who funded 
this, this piece of research. Uh, this is research funded by the CDC, uh, where it's been published and who the publisher is and so on and so forth. So this gives an idea of what kind of uh, um, power the system has once it's uh, you know, reaching large scale to allow you to slice and dice when you wanna know uh, what is the institutional provenance of a very specific piece of research a system like this with its um, um, APIs and Sparkle queries will allow you to answer these questions. Something that today is fairly difficult to do outside of the narrow domain of bibliographic metadata, right? Um, I think I'm gonna skip this. Uh, so this is like an overview of uh, where things are in terms of like size and growth. Uh, we currently have uh, 90 million items uh, in Wikidata that represent creative works. That's about 40% of all Wikidata, uh, so a pretty scary number. Uh, we also have a growing number of bibliographic properties that are being used. For example, uh, 75 million author name strings extracted from papers, uh, 2.6 million individual items about authors, um, many of which uh, with, with ORCID and other types of identifiers, um, other types of identifiers. We also have a, a growing number of uh, descriptions of uh, what a paper is about that are being both generated by machines and humans, which I think is super exciting. Um, of course, we, the, the, the core use case was creating database for Wikipedia. So we currently have a, a all scholarly articles cited across languages in Wikipedia in Wikidata that are queryable and, and, and analyzable in the system. We have broad coverage of scholarly journals. Uh, we have about uh, uh, 42,000 items uh, uh, and counting in Wikidata. We have a growing uh, citation graph. Right now we have about 90 million citation links uh, extracted from literature, uh, represented uh, in the same way using statements. Uh, we also have curated corpora uh, of the bibliographic literature. This is an example of uh, uh, what we think is a complete annotated scholarly publication corpus on Zika virus. Um, so it's, been, it's a fairly small corpus, but allows you to basically explore, like I said, uh, uh, topics and authors and institutions contributing to research uh, uh, on Zika virus on a basically daily basis. And for those of you who are into nano publications, this is going to give you a sense of what you can do uh, with Wikidata. You can track the impact of a scholarly paper in a very granular way. Uh, these are all examples of statements uh, from a specific uh, paper that's linked down there uh, that represent basically the uh, bits of information that are included in that paper. And finally, um, there are many potential applications for other open, door, uh, open source tools. This is a way in which um, um, hypothesis annotation is embedded in, a, in the provenance statement for a Wikidata item about a paper to represent the specific part of a paper where uh, that statement has been found. And finally, there are open source applications being built on top of this. Um, Scully, I think we're gonna have a demo by Daniel Mitchin later on today, so I'm gonna leave this for later. Um, where is this going? Just wrap this up. Um, we have a parent initiative at Wikimedia Foundation called Knowledge Integrity. This is trying to really build the uh, citation, citation foundation and infrastructure for open knowledge uh, in Wikimedia projects. And we've been doing a bunch of uh, open data releases recently in, in, in that direction. Uh, we have a, a bit of a roadmap discussion at the moment, trying to figure out exactly what we're trying to build and uh, who for. Um, so there's this document that I really encourage you to go and check out. Uh, we're trying to see if we're building a database of sources for Wikipedia, uh, a platform for this custom bibliographic corpora, or maybe something beyond that, just closer to bibliographic commons. We haven't figured it out yet and we could use some help. And finally, uh, a Wikisite is also an event uh, that happens every year. Uh, it turns out the next conference is gonna be in the Bay Area, actually here in Berkeley, um, between the 27th and the 29th of November. And the application form should go live today if I manage to do it during the lunch break. So thank you, that's all for me.